I have intentionally altered some stuff on this student's work cited page so that I can show you how to do it correctly. To begin with, let's fix the hanging indent. As you can see, right now, all of these are on the left-hand side. We want the second and third and fourth lines of each entry, if there is one, to be indented. And here's the way to do that. Highlight just the entries. You don't need to highlight work cited. You can, it doesn't matter. Then go to Format, Align and Indent, Indentation Options. Down here where it says Special Indent, click Hanging. That should go to 0.5. Make sure these say zero and hit apply. And now you can see how they're all indented properly. The second thing you might notice is that there is extra space between these entries and up here. Google Docs has a setting that's doing that automatically. Between paragraphs, it's adding an extra line. So I'm going to highlight all of it including works cited. I'm going to go up to format. This time I'm going to line spacing and you see it has add a space before, add a space after. We'll click on custom spacing and these need to be set to zero. Now when I hit apply you'll see that these spaces go away. There you go. Then the third thing is that it has to be in alphabetical order. And there's one point here is that you don't alphabetize if it says the or a, so this would be in the M's. We've got a J, S, F, H, M. Well, I know that J comes after H, so I'm going to copy this and I'm just going to drag it right down here. I'll put it there and then I'll hit enter. I'm going to take out that hyperlink. I'm going to take out that extra space. So now I've got an S. Well, S comes after M. So I'm going to take it. And I can even just drag it. Take out the extra spaces up there. So I've got F, H, J, M, S. Now it's in alphabetical order. So the three things we looked at were how to do the hanging indent, removing the extra blank lines between entries, and putting everything in alphabetical order.